Hey guys, welcome to yet another home range poultry video. Now on today's video, we want to break down a very important topic and that is which one is more profitable, keeping broilers or keeping layers? By the end of this video, you will have a very good understanding of this important question. So guys, let's delve into it and really understand what are these chickens that are called broilers and what are these chickens that are called layers? Now broilers are chicken which are primarily bred for purposes of meat only. For layers, eh, they are primarily kept for the purposes of egg production. These are the eggs that you find in most supermarkets, in most shops. These are the eggs that people actually eh, eat for consumption. Now at what age do these chicken mature? Now the broilers mature at only 42 days of age, while layers four and a half months. Now within these four and a half months, this is when you're likely to start seeing the first egg. Now when you look at the egg production per hen per month, eh, each one of the layers hen will give you about 26 eggs per hen per month. As far as feed consumption is concerned, eh, for the broilers, eh, at day old, they will consume about 10 grams per bud per day. Now, the same parameter still applies to the layers buds, which do consume the 10 grams per bud per day. However, by the time these chickens are getting into maturity, eh, their feed consumption greatly changes. So you notice that by the time your chicken are getting from the 35 to around the 42 days, their feed consumption will have increased to a whole 233 grams per bud per day. And this is regarding the broilers. For the layers, eh, at the age of maturity, which is four and a half months, eh, they will be consuming about 86 grams per bud per day. Now, with, that param with those parameters being very clear, then it's very easy for you then to come down and calculate how much feed do this chicken actually consumes in terms of kilos from when they are day old to when they mature. For the broilers, if you do a calculation, 223 grams plus the 10 grams, you divide that into two, and then you multiply by 42 days, you will get 4.89 kilos of feed. For the layers buds, again, you get the average of their feed consumption, which is basically the 10 grams, add the 86 grams, and then you divide that by two. And then that quantity that you get, you multiply it by 30 days and you multiply by the full four and a half months. This will give you a quantity of 6.48 kilos. However, one thing that is very clear is that the two buds do not consume the same type of feed. For the broiler buds, the broiler feeds, and then of course for the layers, we have the layers feeds. For the prices in Kenya currently, as of 26th of October 2024, so a 50 kg bag of starter crumbs is going for 4,355 shillings, while a 50 kg of finisher pellets is going for about 4,000. So you want to understand the price per kilo. You add the two, 43.55 plus 4,000, divide by 100 and it will give you a price package of 84 shillings for every kilo of broiler feed. Now when it comes to the layers, eh, layers consume three types of feed, which is the chick mash, the grower's mash, and the layers mash. For these purposes, eh, a 50 kg fugo chick mash, eh, as of 26th October 2024, is going for 3,660, while the grower's mash is going for 3,200, and the layers mash is going for 3,250. Now, for you to get the average of this, you just add the 3,660 plus the 3,200 plus the 3,250, and then you divide by 150 and it will give Give you the average price per kg of 7.4 shilling. With that information of the quantity of feed the chicken is consuming and the price per kg, then it becomes very easy for you to calculate the total cost of feed consumed to maturity. For the case of the broiler, we will take the 84 shillings per kilo and we will multiply by the amount of feed that it is consuming, which is the 4.89 kilos, and this will give you 410.76 shillings. That is the total cost of feed that this chicken has consumed all the way to maturity. With regard to the layers, eh, this is how you calculate the total cost of feed consumed to maturity. Get the average price per kg. Which which is a 67.4 shillings. Then you multiply by the quantity of feed it is consuming, which is a 6.48 kilos, and this will give you 436 shillings and 75 cents. Now, apart from the feeds, eh, remember you have purchased this chick for the broiler. The cost as of 26 October 2024 it is at 100 shillings. And for the layer chicks, eh, a piece is costing you 135 shillings. Now, apart from the feeds and the chicks, eh, there's a very important cost that is usually called a miscellaneous cost that you must factor into your production cost. Why? Because you're going to incur costs as far as vaccination is concerned, perhaps buying multivitamins for these birds, and even in some occasions even treating them in the event of disease outbreak. And this calculation is usually calculated as a miscellaneous cost, which accounts for 15% of the cost of feed. Now, for the purposes of the broilers, we already know that the cost of feeding is 410.76 cents. To get the miscellaneous cost, you just do a multiplication of 15% of 410.76, which will give you 61.61 shillings. As far as the layers are concerned, again, we just do a 15% of the cost of feed, which was 436.75, and this will give you 65.51 as the miscellaneous cost. Now, having known the cost of the feeds, the cost of the chick, and now the miscellaneous cost, now we are able to calculate the total cost of
of production to maturity. And for the case of the broiler, when you add those three costs, it comes to 572.37 shillings. For the case of the layers, 637.26 shillings. Now, of course, remember, now we know the total cost of production to maturity for the broilers is 572.37 and for the layers is 637.26. Now, with that in mind, eh, we have got to ask ourselves then, eh, what is the selling price for chicken for meat at maturity? Now, remember, between the two birds, the broilers and the layers, it's only the broilers that you're actually going to sell for meat. And in this case, the average price based on the price on 26th October 2024 ranges between 400 and 500 shillings. So the person I've seen selling it the lowest is 400 shillings per bird, and the one that I've seen highest is at 500. So that gives you an average price of about 450 shillings per chicken. Now for the layers, eh, remember, they're not being sold at this stage for meat at this maturity age of four and a half months. These ones are going to wait all the way until when we've harvested all the eggs from them. For them to be sold off so that co that selling price for the layers we'll look at it later at the end of the production period so for the chicken for meat eh, the question then is have we made a profit or have we made a loss when we dispose it off at the 450 shillings and obviously as you can see eh, for you to get the profit you just subtract the selling price minus the total cost of production and for the case of the broiler you're basically saying you're going to subtract 450 shillings, then you subtract 572.37, and this will give you a loss of 122.37 cents. So this basically means, as you can see, that the price at which you're selling the broiler chicken is lower than the actual cost of production. So of course, that is definitely going to lead you into a complete loss. Now, having looked at that, eh, let's now focus more on the layers buds. And for the layers buds, eh, the duration of laying, eh, we're going to look at 12 months of very good production or what you call peak production. So to, for 12 months, you're looking at a production of between 80 and 95%. And this is really the time that you really want to do your calculation and to keep your buds. So for these layers, you're going to look at a duration of laying of 12 months. That is from the point it starts to lay. That is from when they are four and a half months of Age, then we keep them for one year. Now during this uh, duration of laying, which is a 12 month, eh, the total number of eggs that you get from these birds are, now remember the duration is 12 months, and if you go back, eh, you remember that we said that these layers is going to give you 26 eggs per month. So the total number of eggs that you're going to get for this duration of lay will be the 12 months times the 26 eggs per month which will give you the 312 eggs. With regard to the feed consumed during this period of lay, remember we are keeping them for 12 months. How much in terms of kilos are they going to consume during this uh, duration of lay? And to calculate that is very simple. We get the feed, the quantity of feed that this chicken was supposed to be consuming at maturity, which is the 86 grams. So we'll say 86 divided by 1,000 so that we're able to convert it to kilos. Then we multiply by the 30 days and we multiply by the 12 months. And this will give you 30.96 kilos. Now, the next thing that we need to look at, ask ourselves is, Okay, now we know the quantity of feed it is consuming, but how much is it going to cost you? So a 50 kg bag of fugo layers mash eh, goes for 32.50. That means that the average price per kilo would then be 65 shillings. So in that case, eh, the total cost of feed that has been consumed during this duration of lay is the 30.96 kilos and we multiply it by the 65 shillings per kg, which will give you a total cost of 2,012.4 shillings. Now the next cost, of course, that is very important that you should not forget is a miscellaneous cost. Even as the chicken are growing, there are some vaccinations you have got to revaccinate like for new Newcastle because it's a very rampant disease. You'll be giving them some multivitamins and of course whenever there's a disease outbreak you may need to treat. So the miscellaneous cost still remains and it is calculated as 15% of cost of feeding. For this particular case eh, it is 15% of the 2012.4 shillings and this will give you a miscellaneous cost of 301.86 shillings. That being said eh, then the next thing that we need to ask ourselves is how much are eggs being sold in the market because now we are looking at income. As of 26 October 2024 one tray of eggs egg ranges between 390 shillings and 420. That gives you an average price per tray of about 405 shillings. That basically translates to that one egg farmers are selling it at 13.5 shillings. Eh? Now with that in mind, eh, if we know we've known the price per egg, then the question is, what are the total sales from all the eggs that are being produced by these layers? We say the price per egg, which is 13.5 shillings per egg, then you multiply by the total number of eggs which you have received from this chicken, and that will give you 4,212 shillings. So this is the total amount of money that you're going to make from selling all the eggs that this hen has produced. Now, the beauty about the layers is this. Eh? At the end of the duration of lay, you must sell off the bud, and you're going to sell it off for meat, and these buds are usually sold as what you usually call X layers. Now, the prices for X layers eh, usually do vary a lot. 
Okay. And currently, as of 26th October 2024, you're seeing a selling price of between 400 and 500 shillings. So that gives you an average selling price of about 450 shillings. Now, what is the total income from the layer? This is very simple to derive because you are just going to add the money from the egg and the money from the X layers, which will give you a total of 4,662 shillings. With regard to the expenses, eh, there are a number of expenses we saw earlier, which is number one is the feeding and the number two is the miscellaneous cost. Now, once you add those two costs, it gives you a cost of 2,314.2 shillings. With those two numbers, since now we know the income and the expenses, eh, then it's very easy for us to calculate what profit are we making from this chicken or even a loss or the full duration of production. That is all the way from when it was a chick at day zero and all the way to when it has stopped production. Now for this case, we've seen an income of 4,662 shillings and expenses of about 2,314.26. And this tells you that this chicken will give you a profit of 2,347.74 shillings. Now that being said then, eh, of course, there are key things that comes up. Remember the layers you're keeping them for the entire, almost what, 16 and a half months, okay? Four and a half months to grow them and another 12 months of production. However, remember for broilers, eh, they're only taking 42 days. So if they're taking 42 days and we have another bud here that I'm keeping for almost 16.5 months, the question then would be, how many batches of broilers will I be able to keep during this same period when this other farmer is keeping the layers, just one full batch of layers? So to calculate that, the number of broiler batches that are produced in the same duration of layer production, it's very simple. You just do the 16.5 months. You multiply by the 30 days. You get that is 495 days. Then we divide that 495 days by the 42 days that it is taking to produce each batch, you're going to get about 11.7. However, remember, we are looking at full batches. So the full batches that are there are going to be 11 full batches. You as a broiler farmer are going to produce 11 full batches of chicken when the other farmer who's keeping layers has only produced one batch. Now, let's look at then the total profit or loss from full production of this batch. Now, if for the broiler, you're keeping 11 full batches, but unfortunately, each one of those batches you're making about 122 shillings loss per batch, you will have had accumulated loss of 1,342 shillings for every single bud that you have been keeping. But for the layers buds, eh, one full batch we have seen has already delivered to you a profit of 2,347.74 shillings. And those two numbers being clear as daylight here, from this we can conclude that the loss making breed is definitely the broilers. And the broilers are never going to deliver to you any profit. In fact, it is more disastrous eh, if you look at the news recently, two weeks ago, when actually some farmers were interviewed and they are saying that when you go to a market like city market, eh, their chicken is is being sold for as low as 250 shillings when it has cost them 572 shillings 0.37 that tells you that this farmer instantly makes a loss of 322.37 per chicken However, for the layers, here's the thing, it is profitable because no matter how you look at it, so long as the cost of production and the cost of sale of the eggs remains higher than the cost of produce, the production per egg, coupled with the fact that you're going to sell the bud itself, then it is definitely profitable. The question then comes in, which one should you keep in 2024? Unless if you're looking for some premium tiers, you should never keep broiler. Layers will definitely be able to deliver for you a good profit. And with that, guys, I want to thank you for following this series. Remember, guys, home range poultry is the home of the improved Kienyeji chicken. So as much as we don't keep the broilers and the layers, we keep the Kienyeji chicken. On another video, we are going to explore between them the layers and the Kienyeji chicken, which one is more profitable. So keep watching, guys, and thanks for watching.